Hey there, storytellers. Welcome back to my channel. In lieu of a Valentine's Day coming up just around the corner, I thought I'd do a tag I saw here on booktube called Rip It or Ship It. The original tag or the original booktube version of the tag rather was done by Emma Books and I will link her video down in the description below if you want to go check that out. But without any further ado, let's get into it. <laughs> So basically the rip it or ship it tag is you take a list of character names that you write down and you pull out two and you decide if you're going to rip it as in RIP, dead, you don't want this relationship even fictionally in your brain or ship it. And if you don't know what shipping is, basically you just, you want two characters to be together so badly you support it. But I've got my mug of names here. I have... 20 character names, 10 boys, 10 girls, uh, no particular order. Some of them I wrote were pairings with each other in their respective novels. Some of them are just random characters. I just sort of picked any of my favorite characters that came to mind, tossed them in here, and let's just get started to keep it on my lap so that we can do this. Downside is I used small sticky notes and they're sticking together, so. We're gonna have to deal with that. But we have our first tool and we have Tessa Gray with Penelope Bunce. Um, hmm, I think, I think I'd ship it. They're uh, both pretty pragmatic, smart, independent ladies and I think they'd be a lot of girl power together. Okay, and like I said, I mixed all the names together so we could get boy, girl, 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 boy, boy, any of that good stuff. Who do we have next? We have Bilbo Baggins with David King. They, no, I'm gonna rip it. It's not gonna work for me. Bilbo is too kind-hearted and adventurous and David King, uh, for those of you who don't know, is a character in the Truly Devious novels and he's got a little bit of a wicked streak. So I don't know that they'd get along very well together. Okay, trying to get only two. Next we have King Arthur of Arthurian legend with Clary Frey. Oh, you know, you know, I think I ship it. They both have this pure good streak. They just want to help others and do good. And I think, I think I'm gonna ship them. Okay, we have these two. Who do we have? We have Evelyn Hugo with Jem Carstairs. Nope, nope, I rip it. I rip it. Jem is very kind and sweet and very giving character and Evelyn is a cutthroat, take what she wants kind of lady and I respect it, but those two together I don't think would work out very well. Next we have N. Salta with Bella Swan. Nope, again, I'm, I'm ripping it. I don't think it would work. Bella is a very needy character. She needs from others, and while she does have strengths to her, I just think N, who is pretty independent by the end of her journey, I don't think they'd make a great match. We have Levi Iglesia matched with Stevie Bell. Hmm. This one, this one I think I'm gonna ship. I'm gonna ship it. Levi is very clever, as is Stevie, and I think they would play off of each other pretty well. Okay, oops, three, we need two. Next we have Chloe King with Simon Snow. I'm gonna ship this one. I think it would be a really interesting matchup because they are both chosen one characters, and I think they'd be kind of a power couple. Okay, I think we're getting towards the end here. Maybe only a couple more pairings left. We have Peter Malark and Katniss Everdeen. Oh my god, of course I would have pulled them together. <laughs> I'm gonna ship it. I like them together. I know some people are Katniss Gale people, but I don't think Gale was right for her. I think she needed Peter to balance her out. Okay, so out of the last four... We have Jace Wayland and Baz Grimm Pitch. Um, as funny as I think it would be to see these two guys together, 
I think I'm gonna have to rip it because they're both too snarky and miscommunicative about their feelings and that just doesn't that doesn't make for a good match all right we have our last pairing let us see what we've got we have will herondale with cather avery hmm no now i think I, as much as i'd love to end on a ship i think i'm gonna have to i'm gonna have to rip it because Kath is a little bit too anxious and Will is a character that kind of lashes out when he's emotionally distraught and I don't think they would pair well together overall. But that is it for this Valentine's inspired tag today. If you enjoyed it, let me know by leaving a like down below. Down in the comments, let me know your non-traditional OTP pairings. Do you have any, you know, different fandom crossover OTPs. I want to hear about them, so let me know down in the comments. But for now, I'm going to get going. If you want to keep up with me and all of my bookish adventures, you can go ahead and click the subscribe button, and I definitely recommend that you ring the little bell so that you don't miss a beat. I post videos every Friday, and I will see you on the next one. Bye!